All right, so what do we have here? Um, two equations. Uh, they both have the same signs on x's y, so we're going to have to multiply by one of them a negative. And it looks like if I take the bottom one times the negative 2, that way we can eliminate x's. So that would give me 10x minus 10y equals negative 30. And down here, I would get a negative 10x and plus 10y equals a plus 30. Well, that minus that's 0. That minus that, hmm, that's 0. So 0 equals 0. Well, that's true. So that means we have an infinite number of solutions. And so that's called a dependent. And it's consistent. Okay, So infinite number of solutions, dependent and consistent. So that's not a lot of work, because we really can't check it. We just have to trust that we did our work right. And if that's the case, then we, are, we should be good to go. What about this one? Um, here we have, we can multiply the bottom one by a negative 2 and add those and get rid of x's. Here we can multiply by a 4 and get rid of y's. Um, here it's kind of, you know, 2 versus 4. It's not a big difference. Um, so now we just have to think, do we want to multiply by positive or negatives? It really doesn't matter again. So let's just multiply by 4, just for uh, no reason at all. And so that gives me a negative 6x plus 4y equals 4. Now I have here a minus 12x minus 4y equals. Now I have to multiply that 26 times 4. So that's 24. That's going to be 8. And 2 is 10. So that's 104. All right, so those cancel. Here we have a minus 18x equals 108 divided by negative 18. And so x is equal to, well, let's see here. x is going to have to be, what's 8? Okay, maybe a 6. Let's see, 18 times 6, maybe. That's 48, 108. Yeah, so that's going to give me a negative 6. Now, I'm going to plug it into the second one just because then I can solve for y pretty easy. Minus 3 times a minus 6 minus y equals 26. That's 18, so I'm going to subtract 18. And so a negative y equals, now that's going to be a positive 8. And so if I divide both of them by negative, y equals a negative 8. So I'm saying my solution is a negative 6, comma negative 8. Now we have to check it. So uh, negative 6 times, and then here we have a negative 6, plus 4 times negative 8 equals 4. Well, let's see. Uh, 6 times 6 is 36, and then that's a minus 32 equals 4. 6 minus 2 is 4 equals 4. That works. All right, minus 3 times x, which was a negative 6, and then minus a minus 8 equals 26. Well, that's 18 plus 8 equals 26. And 8 and 8, 16, carry the 1. That's a 26 equals 26. So that works as well. So it's independent and consistent. Okay. All right, so that's another one we can solve and get a nice independent consistent system using our checks to make sure we have the correct answer. All right, here, what do we want to do? Well, this one uh, doesn't look quite as nice because we're going to have to multiply by either 7 and 5, one's positive, one's negative. Here we have a 4 and 10, so that one we could get to 20. We can multiply this by 5 and this one by 2. And that's going to be smaller than 7 and 5. So I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to multiply this one by a 5, this one by a 2. So that's going to give me negative 20. That's going to be a positive 20. So they should cancel. So now I have a negative 25x plus 20y equals 20. Here I have a negative 14x uh, minus 20y equals 
uh, negative 20. Okay. Well, those cancel. Well, those cancel too, so that's 0. So that's a minus 39. x equals 0, so x equals 0. I like these because when you go plug it back in, it's easy to simplify and do your check. Now, if that's 0, uh, let's go ahead and do the top one. So a minus 5 times 0 plus 4y equals 4. Well, that's 0, so just divide both sides by 4. y equals 1. So we get 0, 1 as our solution. All right, does that work? Well, yeah, it's going to be pretty easy because that's going to be 0 in both cases. Plug in 1 here and a 1 here. 4 equals 4. Negative 10 equals 10. The checks work. So you know, if we write it out, which is probably what we should do, that's 0. 4 equals 4. Check. And we have minus 7 times 0 minus 10 times 1 equals minus 10. And minus 10 equals minus 10. That works as well because that's 0. So both checks work. This is independent. and consistent. All right, and so that would be our solution. All right, let's pause there and come back for more.